Hello, Internet. Uh, I'm trying this novel new idea in which my videos are actual videos. Let me know what you think. Um, I did not upload a video last week. You may have noticed my pattern lately has been to post something every Sunday. Uh, I did not do that last week because, primarily because it was Mother's Day. Uh, and so I had other things going on. And I, I know that my uploads in general have been a little bit uh, irregular, which is basically just because I, I'm busy uh, recently. But I am going to try to stick to every Sunday, uh, excepting uh, major holidays and personal emergencies. So hopefully you'll be hearing from me every week and we can continue to keep the momentum going and hopefully I can expand and uh, have more viewers. So to that uh, end, I'd like to ask you to uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, share especially because I know that most of you who are watching seem to be watching pretty faithfully from what I can tell, but um, really uh, wouldn't mind uh, increasing this a little bit, but it's all right. Um, I'm also going to post a link in the description to some channels that I think you should check out, uh, either because I like them, or they're interesting, or they're related, but just different stuff. So, I just wanted to do a quick informative episode and talk a little bit about what I've been reading about and researching, um, and of course, give a formal thank you to uh, my guests so far, if any of you are watching, um, especially to those who returned for the topic episode that we just wrapped up several parts of. Um, by the way, uh, I did post two of those a week. I posted on Thursday and Sunday because there were so many parts and they were short. I'm trying to do a lot of shorter stuff now. So, without further ado, I'm just going to uh, let you know what I've been reading a lot about lately. Uh, I did some research on Hinduism. I didn't really have a firm grasp of Hinduism, and in a lot of respects, I still don't, because what I've learned is that in a lot of respects, uh, again, it's not really possible to have a firm grasp of Hinduism, because Hinduism is not a single coherent set of beliefs. You could say that of almost any religion. In fact, this entire channel is founded on the idea that you can say that of literally any religion, because individuals just see things differently. Hinduism in particular is a collection of movements and, and subsects. So, they're united by some basic core principles, but different subsects can even be monotheistic, polytheistic, pantheistic, henotheistic. Uh, Hinduism has been described as all of those things, none of those things, any number of those things. Uh, if you're not familiar with the term, monotheism is one god, polytheism is more than one deity. Uh, I, I, I should say deity and not god, but they're interchangeable. Uh, pantheism is the idea that kind of the universe or the world is divine, is God. Um, that God is in everything, and everything is, is part of God. And henotheism is a term used to describe religions that believe in more than one deity, or in the possibility of more than one deity, but only worship one. Um, generally, uh, it, it's used to describe ancient religions that may be... Uh, believed in the gods of other religions, but only worshipped the god of their particular uh, nation or people. Some suggest that the beginnings of Judaism were actually henotheistic um, and not monotheistic. And then there, there's dualism. Dualism can be described as henotheistic, monotheistic, polytheistic. Um, dualism, of course, presents a, a good force and an evil force that are sort of generally equal and opposing. Hinduism 
has a concept of something called Brahman, which is like a supreme force, if you will, and there's a, a varied level to which that's seen as the personal being. Um, and there are many gods and goddesses in Hinduism, but as I understand it, based on what I read, uh, they can all be seen as expressions or aspects of Brahman. And to many Hindus, so can the soul. The human soul, the Atman, is really like a, a piece of Brahman that's given to us, and it reincarnates uh, lifetime upon lifetime until it achieves moksha, which is like salvation slash enlightenment kind of deal, where you're free from the cycle of reincarnation. So... That's the goal of Hinduism. Um, what's interesting about that is that they believe in reincarnation, uh, like Buddhism, but Buddhists and Hindus have sort of disagreements on the idea of the soul and the self. Hinduism, uh, in theory, is pretty individualistic. It thinks that every living thing has an eternal Atman, an eternal soul. Uh, Buddhism, not so much. Buddhism actually uh, would say the, the non-self or the non-soul is one of the things that needs to be realized. The emptiness, the lack of a, a self that's separate from everything else is, is a truth that needs to be realized for enlightenment. I may be misrepresenting that. Um, it's no problem for me to admit ignorance. I'm trying to stay objective and not talk about my own beliefs and, and non-beliefs and certain ideas, um, which is why I, I would never call myself an expert on any of this, which is why I have no problem saying, I don't know, I don't have a firm grasp, I'm not an expert. I'm not saying I've never heard of it. I'm admitting that I don't know a lot. So even things that I think I know about, I wouldn't call myself an expert on. Of course, you can probably deduce um, affiliations that I don't have based on idle comments or, or things that I'm associated with. I mean, I'm not hiding. Uh, certainly, if you know me in person or through social media, I'm open about my opinions, but for this objectivity. So when I say I don't know about Hinduism, I don't know about this Buddhist thing, um, I'm just... I would say that about anything, but probably could tell from the way I introduced it that I'm not a Hindu, but I do respect it, I am fascinated by it, which is why I've been reading so much about it, because it was one of the religions that I did not know a lot about, and I'm very interested to learn. I basically, I knew about the, um, the cow, the sacred cow, uh, the Ganges River, and the reincarnation. Um, and karma is a big concept in Hinduism. Karma is the idea that basically you get what you deserve in terms of how you're reincarnated. So if you live a good life, you probably get reincarnated into a, a something better, something higher. If you live a very bad life, you might get reincarnated as, as someone more unfortunate. So. Uh, if you go around killing people and, and not doing any good, you might get reincarnated as a, as a fly and live for three days, or a, a cockroach or something. Or in certain cases, you might just sort of exist as like a, a disembodied spirit. There are lots of different spirits in Hinduism, and some are good and some are bad. So, if you're especially bad, you might just wind up being a, a, an evil, lonely uh, destructive kind of spirit that is disconnected from everything and, and malevolent and, and bitter because of that. Or you might um, eventually get to where you achieve moksha and, and you don't have to be reincarnated anymore. Um, and that, that's the goal. That's the goal. It's not to cease to exist, but it's to return to a sort of perfected state, a cosmic state, I guess, and I'm going to get back to you on that, 
because hopefully soon I'm going to be talking more about the afterlife in different religions and the soul in different religions. So this is kind of an intro to that. Uh, but more importantly, I'm also going to be prepping some more interviews, uh, which is basically our, our regularly scheduled programming. So I'm going to be focusing on those and getting some more of those ready in the very near future with different people. Um, I've had a few thing opportunities that haven't panned out, but basically going to be talking to some different people, uh, Catholics, um, agnostic, uh, I, I don't want to say anything definite because there are several possibilities that I haven't locked down for sure, but I'm hoping a lot of religious variety, um, and a lot of variety within one tradition. I like to really linger on a subject, maybe longer than I should, because I want to really explore the, the finer point. So, we're going to return, um, actually, to Protestant Christianity because even that, we started out with that and it's because it was, it was easy, it was accessible, you know, uh, the area that I'm in. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's a church, I live right there, there are like 15 churches. There are more churches than stores in my town, so... <laughs> It's accessible, but we're going to return to that because we've scratched the surface, maybe, of even beliefs within that. And so we're going to be looking at all kinds of religions and spirituality. And if you really want to, uh, want to delve into a particular subject within there, either in a, a topic episode or just a question I haven't been asking, please let me know. Uh, comment, or I'm going to give out, as I always do, my email and my Twitter in the description. So I think that I've covered everything. I haven't covered everything, but I am going to cut off for now, and I'm going to actually return to my sort of crash course on Hinduism probably next week. Thank you for watching.